Hey, today we're here on uh, Jacint. Jacint. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that. As usual, I don't know very much about this game. I did watch the trailer on this one, believe it or not. If you haven't, I, I do say uh, go take the time to do so. Or just hang out and watch watch this play through here. Anyway, the description says, Enjoy a meditative vibes in Jacint, an action puzzle climbing game. Scale immeasurable tall tower and ascend to new heights alongside your watery companion. Master your climbing tools. Find your way up through the diverse biomes and piece together the tower's past. Okay, so I've already learned a lot more than what I did know before. So it said a watery companion. So I guess that's a thing there on the shoulder. That little weird looking thing. And then uh, climbing through diverse biomes together in the tower's past. Okay, so I guess we're just climbing up one one tower anyway games eight gigs uh, i'm gonna say that's roughly uh should put us on a six to eight hour gameplay here but i'm not gonna play it all in one sitting this is on xbox game pass if you have xbox game pass you can play along or uh let's get into this I got my speakers up on this one. I hope I don't have too much feedback here in the mic. On these playthroughs, I tend not to talk too much. Just more about the puzzles and what's being uh, descriptively going through here. Alright, we've got a privacy policy that we know we're not going to read. Something about GDPR. Okay. Just we want it to be barely visible. Oh goodness. Uh, we're gonna go like right here. Alright, we got new game extra settings. Let's check out settings here. We got audio settings to go through. We got a master volume, we got a music volume. We're gonna perk that down just a tab. Speech, we're gonna keep speech up. Sound effects we're gonna keep up. Uh, we're not gonna use a headset. We are using straight uh, stereo right now. Uh, listening environment, quiet, night, noisy, medium, quiet, night, noisy, medium. Eh. Oh, okay, it gives us a little description here. Quiet, high dynamic range for high quality sounds, systems, or... Ooh, okay, let's just do that. Average, slightly reduced range middle ground between quiet and noisy noisy night mode very low dynamic making all sounds intelligible even at low volumes oh all right let's actually do that let's do night mode that sounds pretty cool it's nighttime why not make sure we save those back out controls i'm gonna leave that for later Font size. Ooh, let's put a. Oh, whoa. Yeah, why not? Camera shake. I'm not a big fan of camera shake. I'm gonna turn it off. Camera lag. The camera's movement has smooth lag when following the player. I'm not a fan of lag at all. Why would. Why would you want that? That might make the game a little bit more cinematic, so I'm gonna leave that on for now. If that tends to b bother me, I'll turn that off. Auto follow camera. This follow. Yeah, all right. We'll just leave that. We're gonna keep hints on. Uh, don't need to. Oh yes, let's turn on dyslexic font. Awesome. Oh, that makes everything nicer to read. All right. Cool. Sweet find some settings we got extra category here we've got a gal gallery uh oh uh oh okay whoa so we got stuff to unlock it looks like in the game letters 
something called Bianca. Okay, okay. And then credits. Credits will be something I probably put up towards the end of the stream here. Alright, let's get it into this. It is now 8.06. Let's jump jump in a new game. I was right, it is French. A nautical term for a receding tide. Interesting. Okay. Juicing. So it probably is pronounced like Jusons. Jusons. So it's either smog or fog. I'm gonna go maybe even sand. So since the game is called Jusant and it's uh, about tides receding, were these ships? One time on water? Beautiful. Games don't have to be complex to look very good. Okay, so that must be the tower. Oh, man, this is already making sense to me. So maybe at one time there was a bunch of water. And the water was all the way up to the tower, to the top. Yeah, look at this crab. Crazy looking crab. Oh my god, I think I'm correct. Look, that looks all like coral and stuff. Goodness gracious. It's funny, I've been getting into coral. I'm going to be growing coral in the near future. Okay, so his friend is a water companion. Okay, so I think at one time... At one time, there was water higher... Well, there was water, period. There must have been water, period. So there, this must be... Yeah, look, these mer er, must represent old coral. Chapter 1, Daymark. Yeah, I bet these are all old corals. And all right. This is crazy. Look at this little... All right, so I don't know how much... All right, so you can barely jump. Buttons. I'm pressing all the buttons right now. All right, so... I'm not sure how much of exploration we're looking to get into here. Alright, so... I guess we're going down. I thought we were going up, but I guess we're going down. Maybe you gotta go down to go up. Oh, whoa. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's try not to die in this game as much as the other games we've played. Okay, maybe, uh... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Something's not right. What am I not seeing? Oh, 
Oh wow, that's literally hanging on a thread. Oh, you can climb up on things. Oh. Because it's a climbing game, you get it? Oh, climb, climb. So, oh, I kind of do want to go back down. There's probably like a secret down there or something that we've, we've missed. Okay, so now we got symbols here. R, T, R, to hold, hold, to grip. Whoa. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, so that was hitting X. B. B to unleash that thing. Let me see something real quick. Now we have a little bit more knowledge. Was there a... Was there a thing? I guess there wasn't. Yeah, I guess there's no real reason to go down there. <laughs> All right, let's check that little area once more, once over more, and then uh, we'll just keep following the path. All right, so I really wanted to see about getting that, that boat. I don't think that's gonna happen. Buttons, hitting buttons, okay. We're out of here. So I guess we're supposed to hit that, and then... Oh. So I'm going R2, L2. Search for a hold. Yo, this is cool. I'm not really going to the one that I want to go to, but that's okay. Alright, so now we... The icon displays a rope main carabiner. When full, it means the rope is wound in. When empty, the rope is attached to the wall. Alright. Right, left, right. Oh, and then what is... I guess it's just a cool light. Whoa, maybe I should have kept it on there, right? Carabiners automatically secure the climb and show you the path to take. Okay, that's that's nice. Do we should we test it real quick? Ah! <laughs> oh, I, I had to test it. I had to test it. That was so cool. Oh, you can go. You can descend. <gasps> I knew it. How far can you descend? Interesting. This game has just become very interesting now. Alright.
I wonder if you get tired in this game. climb on wood planks too this like dot is kind of annoying how come you won't go sideways there you go there you go ah, jump up there there you go one on the ground B winds up gotcha all right, the three small icons represent secondary pythons. If they're full, they're available to use. If they're empty, they're not. Right, how do I... There we go. Oh, Wait, was I supposed to climb up? Oh, it's supposed to climb over. Why am I climbing down? Is there a secret down here? I like just up. Uh, all right, I'm. Uh, I think I just. That was weird. Whee! Okay, playing around here. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. So wait a minute. Check this out, I bet. Hold on real quick. I think I just broke the game. Alright, I don't think it... Wait, what? Alright, I guess it's not gonna let me do what I wanted to do. Oh well. I think we're actually supposed to go up. Wait, wait, what? Did I do it right? No way. Hold A to load a jump. All oh, right, that was cool. Now I have, all right, awesome. Woo! Okay, so there's a stamina meter. Monitor keeps it. I get it now, so we have up to three of those. I could just like sit here and get my stamina meter back up, right? Like theoretically. I'm gonna get a drink of water here. So wait, how do you get your stamina back? going really slow. Oh, 
do 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 This is a pretty cool game. I like it so far. No, oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I'll sketch. All right. Guess we're going up now. Oh, we were supposed to hold, hold the button there for that. So wait, how do I, uh, how, how do I propel? Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, right bumper. There we go. Right, back in the climb. This is uh, definitely different. Really fun. I think I finally figured out how to do the jump. Oh, no, 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 no. made it. Finally, we made that. So it looks like we'll be climbing up there? Question mark? What's over here? Ooh, we got stairs. And a ladder. Or should we go over here first? Oh, I see we can't go over here. Or can we? Wait, wait, wait. We're here trying to finesse the game. Do it the way the game wants us to do it. Crazy looking gloves right here. Oh look, we get to read something. Another sleep turning over stone at the old delta. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen a route to the old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh, I finally caught an old knitting machine for Inyo who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up in the low tide, though. Okay. So low tide... This would have been... the area when low tide would come through. Interesting. All right, let's see here. Give me that rope back. So we're going up this way here.
says to put it there. I mean, are we going to that platform? Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, I see. Oh, I guess we can swing, okay. happened there a little further down oh 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 there we go down here oh look at that everybody okay okay a little exploring around here whoa don't jump off of there that's for sure good thing we tied in right Oh look, what's this? Okay, so it looks like it's just leaping through. So it looks like it was a work area for someone that was uh, chiseling away at the rock. I guess telling a story. The coral grew all around the birds. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, there we go. Looks like he was making more. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. be attached to most surfaces most surfaces okay that's good to know keep trying other surfaces oh look there's a a ladder there can we go all the way down here is it gonna let us I guess it wasn't worth it though. I thought maybe there'd be like a secret down here, but I guess not. All right. So let me see something. Doing, I guess there's a little bit of exploring around in this game.
Okay. So yeah, you can't. Guess there's no climbing that. Oh, here we go. What is this? Yeek! How are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came into this, into the late music night. Even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. I was thinking that adding the scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might <laughs> help steer passerbyers this way. I'm missing a packed patio. Can you take care of it? I checked with the low tide and everyone agrees. Hey Mo, listen, these things happen. I hope one day you can ask me something besides boats apart from make ladders, like if I'm free to a romantic dinner or two. Anyway, all good for scaffolding. Since the village approves, I don't have much wood to choose from. After that new path to the plane I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the currents allow. I owe you one. Thanks. You're the best. By the way, do you ever run into old Sonia? I think she's rummaging around your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new, a new hobe for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic it'll be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. Okay. Cute. Alright, cool. So this game does want us to explore a little bit. Doesn't seem uh, too off the charts, though. Alright, so where do we go from here? Up? Over? To the chicken? Oh. Okay. I think I see our path. I think I see where we're supposed to go to. Once again, I'm pressing the wrong button here. It looks like there are a bunch of rocks that we can hold on to here. that wouldn't uh, work for us. I can't wait to see this upside down situation here. No. That that oh, that sucked. So what do you think there's a ladder down here for? Oh. That's not what I'm going to do. Look, there's one here. But why? Is there a special something over here? Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Hole in the wall. A secret? Uh oh. Probably not. I, I don't think this game's gonna be very difficult. <laughs> I think I'm going through a lot of trouble for nothing. 
The reality is, it's probably something like over here. Yeah, look. Yep. It wasn't till I started my ship to prepare for the crossing that I realized it's my last crossing to supply from Aurelia. After that, folks, I'll have to make do with what they have. What I wouldn't give for things to go back the way they were, seeing smiles on people's faces. The little uns climbing the cliffs and diving into the waves, and us water fishers learning to fish again. All things old folks tell us about sleep after sleep. But enough of the yearning for old times, I've got a desert to cross and a caravan to prepare. It's not going to prepare itself. If only. Right, yeah. So it's not gonna actually make us go too far out of the way to see something like that. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind so we're not getting off track too much. Probably go this way now. Oh, fun. Some upside down situation here. Really, where are you out now? All right, resting here. All right, so this wants us to do hold to load a jump. Double tap for a double jump. And then what? Where am I going? There we go. Did I just hear someone run? There's an up arrow. Ooh, this is tough. Jump! Yeah, awesome. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Oh, well, I'll be darned. I guess this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Pretty fun. Uh oh, all right. We gotta use all our knowledge now to figure something out here. Oh, okay, okay. Let's try another one of these double jump situations. Ha <laughs> Cheat the system, they say. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna have to rest my left arm here. All right, let's keep at it. Let's go ahead and put a doodad there. Thank you. 
nuts. <laughs> that was uh, pretty crazy. So what's down here? Is this the area that we just came from? Alright, that is the area we came from. Yep. That is exactly that. Oh, over there hanging on his thread. That's insane. There we go, keep going up. Up the way is the game. around basically all right so does this bring you anywhere oh what is this lynn's gone to the heights task extent the site <laughs> with the boss gone the wind's gone out of their sails when it comes to digging it's not such a bad thing lifting boxes creates barrels is my area of expertise but shifting their old stones at the slightest pitch and roll, everyone's knee starts quaking. Anyway, I was getting used to the idea of working with the archaeologist, making myself useful again. And already, the work's dried up. I doubt it'll start up again. I don't see how we can move forward. How about you? How are things with the low tide? Is DD still refusing to go to school? My love, I'm so happy to hear from you. We miss you so much, Dee says. Homeschooling her, and I'm very much out of my depth. Do you remember the names of all the regions of the tower? I don't remember learning that. I gave D homework assignment about the old altar. Keep her busy for a while. She's supposed to copy the design. I ended up going with her. It'll be ages adventure behind the village. I'd have forgotten how dark it is. But you know, D, she's gus she's gutsy. And she's enjoying diving into the past, just like you. Speaking of which, have you archaeologists finally found how tides work? They've been digging for a while now, get it? Do you know when they'll be able to come back up here? All right, so I guess I can't go further. Double check. Yep, I don't think I can go further. There is nowhere to go. So, all right, cool. I'm glad we came this way first. Looks like we only got to go back this way now. All right, here's the way we go. I've been wondering where the soundtrack was.
Uh, should I go over here first? Hey, Bianca. You must have the cast off. For who knows where. I went back to the postal relay. Still no water. Surprise, surprise. Sally and Foz are still sorting through everything by hand, and I've gotten roped into helping with deliveries. Me? On Pebbleback? Can you imagine what a sight that is? Even I am laughing at myself. Still, why not, eh? It's a fresh start, and I quite like seeing the world as mail comes when, well... Comes in. Well, it would be nicer if this damn pebble would just change course when I ask it to. I'm telling you, it's stubborn. Worse than old yom. Honestly, though, what a nightmare. Anyway, I'm going to miss the tide at this rate. I left your mail by the door. Ooh, another stone. So wait, I am supposed to go this way? Question mark? Um... Let me see how far we get going this way. Hey, Bianca, how things are down there? I hear the boss sailed into the horizon. Good riddance. I never liked him anyway. Things here at the hut are are pretty quiet. Not many people stop by these days. A seasonal job when there are no more seasons, so I'm starting to get bored. You can tell I've been started scratching letters. Tell me something to distract me, won't you? Oh, um, I'm so glad to hear from you. Yeah, I'm about as useful as a buoy on a dry land. But no surprise there. You've been gone for quite a while. So maybe you don't know. But everything here is closed. Except for old Enio Shopped. He's still raising his chocos. Bossa tried to convince him to leave with them. Remember Bossa? That little terrier at the back of the classroom? They caught him quite in a gale. It was amazing. No one dared try again since. Do you think they're going to keep you up people stop coming by? You might see more folks soon, though. I come across a classified ad. They're mounting an expedition to explore the crow's nest. I'd like that, but going off to an adventure with strangers? Ugh. -uh. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Heading for the clouds, huh? That sounds like quite something. I'll better sock the hold. I bet they'll come by this way. You know what? You should join them. Come see me, too. You don't have any excuse since you're out in a new job, hee <laughs> hee. It would be a nice change from the few straight travelers that come by. Hey, the other day another climber got stuck at Weeping Rock Pass. I had to go fetch them. If only you could have seen them. Stupid enough to eat hay, as they say around here. Okay, it's settled. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, I can't talk right now. I will be waiting for you. Oh, okay, so, okay, so this would have been where, if I were to climb up that, that area, this would have been where we're at. Alright, let's keep going up then. And I'm gonna place you there just in case I fall off for some reason. Like, something tells me I should go in there, right? Oh. Oh, that sucks. All right. No, no, no. I got 
got it. Oh, all that for nothing. Look, it's the loo. That's where they go poopy. That's where they go doo doo. Hee. All right. Uh oh. It's not cooperating with me now. <laughs> I got stuck between the rail. Okay, hold on. Not to worry. We're gonna get. We're gonna get out of this. All right. Let's. <laughs> Let's, let's uh, do that all over again. All right. All right, there we go. Back, back to where we were. Settles that. Logbook. Twelve octaves after the jacent. I'm finally leaving. I'm so happy I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbor master's office, I caught the eye. It sounded like poetry. Join us at twelve octaves. Becca and Arlo's farms. I filled the journey together. After spending some... Long marinating, trying to find the, the meaning life. It'll do me good to see the world. As M would say, hopefully we'll be stopping by her hut. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there'll be other adventures leaving the low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever have left here was, oh, the only time I ever left here was for the Harvest Festivals when I was just a small fry. So an expedition, an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the small clouds. Oh no, my parents, I forgot about them. What am I going to tell them? Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure. See you around if I only make it back alive. Of course, Bianca, dear. Don't forget to bring the snacks. Hmm, I'd better not say anything. And I should bring snacks. What else? What do people normally take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure. What's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make it like the expeditions that set off for the right... For the oh my god, that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us. Starting with this message. Farewell, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with a wonder and kept me company as I pondered too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the wee beaks. Who will watch over you from the sky. And to watch over this message, I'm leaving one of my creations. Adventure Calls, Bianca. Alright. Up we go. Nothing's changed for us. We gotta keep going. Oh, that is 
Not all at all what I was trying to do. Uh, how do I get out of this situation, Beavis? Yeah, how do I get out of this situation? <laughs> oh my goodness, where am I going? What? You know what? I'll take it. Um, uh, no way, I just fell all the way down to the very bottom. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, look, I just now noticed the background of the game. Look, there's like a big old ship back over there. Oh, wow. Got a lot of climbing to do. If we get to that spot, I think this is going to be a, a stopping point. Alright, we got ways to go. Let's do this all over again for the fourth time? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I did not know you could do that. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I don't know what am I supposed to do here? Let's go over there. Alright. Oops, wrong button. From here, what do we do though? I don't know where we're going. Okay. Oh, this ledge here? Yeah, that ledge over here. Okay. So this camera is a little... <sighs> Alright, let's try this again here. Oh, no, no! Alright, trying to get these buttons right. Come on. 
There you go. No, there you go. Okay. Wow. Whew. I didn't ever think I was going to do that. All right, we're going to jump here now. Man, reading is tiring me out. <laughs> I asked Mo for help, but it's no use. The door won't budge. There's no way of knowing its inner mechanisms work. Does it have anything to do with the lost ocean? Mo isn't much of a handyman either, but you think we'd know, be able to figure it out between the two of us. He had to weigh anchor. A date, he said. It's true. He did seem rather dressed up to tinker around. Rather perfumed, too. None of his answers my questions. I've explored you from a deck to hold, and no, I'm no further along when I started. I still don't know what you could have been used for. My lighthouse. Your painting seemed to allude to water falling from the sky. But... That's pretty vague. Now what I'm supposed to do? That's pretty cool. Chapter two. I'm curious if that's like a uh, the quick resume feature. I was kind of hoping to have like a cool little sequence, but not to worry. If I can remember, which I don't, let's see if I can recall some of these controls here. Okay, we're gonna be climbing up that. I believe we're gonna be. I guess. I can only imagine we're going to be... Yeah, I think we came from that direction. Yep. We came from that direction. And like I said, I think we got through some kind of portal situation. 
And now, I guess we're just gonna continue climbing up. Yeah, somehow we landed here. Now we're gonna go up. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see something here. Yep, my memory is serving me right. That is, uh, correct. Alright, let's pull ourselves up here and continue on our journey. I just wanted to make sure we weren't going to miss any, uh... secrets or anything like that. Oh wait, oh, wait, was I supposed to do that? <laughs> By using your companion, you can see the next objectives. Wait. Okay, I... I guess I was supposed to do that. Okay. So I guess we're trying to get that that way still. Wait, generate an echo. Whoa. Okay. There is like a photo mode in this game. So I guess I can't. Oh. Oh, okay, that was crazy. Alright, we got it the first try. Oh, wait, does anyone remember how to. how to rest our arms? I don't. Rest, get our energy back. Well, I guess we can swing over that way. Ooh, we got a cool little secret passageway in here. How about here? Whoa, oh, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Cool, a little, like, uh, secret meeting room or something. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something here. Is that all like glowing and then uh, can't do anything? Oh, wait. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. We figured it out. Echo from the past. Okay, okay. We figured it out. Woo! Uh, is it gonna stay that way? I guess it's gonna stay that way. Alright. Alright. I guess that's just what we do. And where do we go from here? Further up, I guess. Going up, I'm confused. There we go. That was a little difficult. These ones are over here. There we go. Let's rest here for a minute. Oh no! That was a close one, everybody. Toughest one climb yet. That was the toughest climb yet. I'm gonna tie in there so we don't fall. Alright, so I guess that's the top of this area. Just saying there's no special things to, to get. We're just going to keep going. I think we have to jump to to that. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, look over here. What? There we go. Okay. Tall order. Oh. Try it again. Oh, we're close. Hmm. Oh, where do we go from here? I'm gonna go over here. 
Oh yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I jump over here. Yep, okay. That was a pretty long climb. door here with a lock on it doesn't open when I do that cool thing like the other one did by using your companion you'll be able to see the next objectives oh, yeah, okay. so what is this for oh So maybe that was trying to say don't go that way yet. I'm confused. Alright, yeah, so this game wants us to go to the other side of this wall. Oh, look. What is this? So that was another she seashell that we found. Kind of gives you a little uh, blast of the past kind of thing. Journey continues this way. Can we jump that? says the blind man.
try that again. Wow, this one's being, uh... put it over here so like yeah I'm supposed to get over that way hmm all right what am I missing what am I missing That's not a thing over here, is it? Yeah, I can't grab on those, can I? Yeah, it's not letting me grab those. Alright, so it says to go this way. Through this wall. How am I going to get through this wall? The only thing I see is this thing still. But it's not like opening. I see it. Whoa, I see up here like that ledge, but how do I? And then there's these, which make me think I should come over here. But that's not opening. Like I was expecting it would. That's what I was trying to do. Try this one more time here. Yeah, see, still not working, so I did see this one down there, but that too is not responding. So I'm very confused. Hmm. I'm missing something, you guys. What am I missing? Using all your tools together allows you to overcome situations. Oh. Do they want me to, like, do this? Hold on, let me try this again. Alright. 
tie up here. Oops, wrong button. So it says to go that way, but I'm gonna go over here first. Because you know me, I ex oh, see, look, we found something. Moving sail, carabiners, fish hooks, sound shells. To give away or swap for provisions. Repairs and mending, nets, harnesses, bubble stitch, sand stitch, and any type of knitting. Ask for Inyo. Lost. Medallion, shiny and round. It's not valuable, but it's sad it's gone. Reward, cake. Job wanted, housework, pebble sitting, choco sitting, babysitting. Accept all vertical work, renovating, decorating, drywalling. Volunteers wanted for expedition to the clouds. Seeking hope in water. Join us, 12 octaves. Becca and Arlo's farm, Highfield. Journey together, beware of the heat stroke. Pebble shuttle service to Fume Orolia Oasis. Can bring small bunders. Can bring small bundles. Letters and packages, new animals. Okay. Oh, what is that? I should keep going this way or if I should go the other way first. Let's see what this area over here. Oh yeah, look, there's more stuff over here too. Auntie Ida, you have to talk to them. I want to go on an expedition to the desert too. Everyone says I'm too young. I don't care. Nils going. And he's only a bit bigger than me. Plus, he's mean. I have to stay at the port gathering stinky old seaweed and doing my homework. I bet cleaning the canals with you would be more fun. I want to see what else is out there. But my parents never want to leave the village. Can you talk to them, please? Haha, <laughs> oh D, believe me, sweetie, you wouldn't have much fun scraping the pipes of the Great Basin, that's for sure. You won't like what I'm about to say, but be patient. You have plenty of time to grow up, and we will be selling off to the plane soon enough. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, though, but we have no choice but to go with your parents. So best not to quarrel with them in the meantime. I don't fancy crossing the plane with three scowling faces. Your favorite auntie. Oh, okay, there's another one over here. And whatever that is. What is that? Whoa. Oh. Oh, there's something down here, I guess. Oh, look. Look, everybody. Look where we uh, ended up at. Yeah, why is this over here? So, I'm gonna run back that way. Hold on real quick. It says the main objective is this way, so let's go back this way for kicks and giggles.
Let's see what this is all about over here. Let's see what this area is about. There's something to climb up there. So maybe this just connects all the way through. Dearest Met. Is that how you pronounce that? Met? Met Meti? Dearest Meti. You'll probably laugh at what I'm about to say, but I wish you were a Choco. Nothing to do but to be round, fluffy and cute. The whole sleep long. No job, no essential crisis about the future. It'd be more relaxing than going door to door. But someone has to bring the old folks water, and I never would have believed it. But I've grown fond of them. Remember old Coco? She made me listen to and dust off her shell collection. She has, she's as a deaf as a post, so someone should listen to them once in a while, she said. One of the shells almost crumbled to dust. They miss the ocean just like we do. Are things any better with your family? Are they still upset? No need to tell me if it's too difficult to talk about. I may not be there to support you, but I'm sending waves your way. Ah ha ha! That Coco! Still, I admire you. I definitely wouldn't have the patience. Things with my parents are still choppy. They let ocean disappear, but they don't want to understand what happened. We're not responsible, they always say. They've left for the cauldron's oasis. They requested the furnaces so they could join some friends of theirs. But spots are hard to come by. Okay. So yeah, I'm thinking this just walks all- yep, okay, so this is where that other one picks up at. That's where the other one picks up at, okay, no worries. So this says, this octave, we are celebrating the return of the Expedition 34 to the port. The expedition was led by Cory, who once again braved the horizontal world. We are proud to welcome these children low tide who are returning with the princess treasure back among us. The members of Ex Expedition 34, descendants of the celebrated Her, Iga, and Aime, who were the first adventure out of the Great Plain in search of the lost ocean, walked further than ever before and were finally able to see the new spring after numerous failed expeditions. A fresh start for many villages who've been waiting their turn since the furnaces and ephemeral oases hit the population limits. A welcome reception will be held next sleep. The collective of former expeditionaries has made its best seaweed pie. Bring your own beverages. Brella Gazette, issue 43, nine octaves and one third after the Jean Sant. Interesting. That's the first time we've seen, aside from the very intro of the game, the word Jusant 
or Jusant, I, I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong. Editorial. In this issue, we'll be taking a look at the creatures that give this near-cyclical publication its name, Brias. While they... While they've come up before in our issue on endangered tunnel wildlife in our special edition Inhabitants of the Great Reservoir. We've never de dedicated an entire section to them. It's high time it's it's high time we rest restified that what is that word? Restified? Rectified? Rectified. Wow, I'm stupid. Brillas are Best known for their slow, majestic flight. However, they begin their lives clinging to the rocks. In this first stage of their life cycle, they resemble flowers known as shrinklets. From within the shrinklets come sparks. Small, glowing creatures that fly through the darkness of the caves and tunnels and groups. How many octaves does it take for a spark to grow into a umbrella? How long do umbrellas live? Has anyone ever seen one die? Much has been forgotten about Brellas, despite them being witness to the tower's ancient past. At the time of the writing, they've almost completely disappeared. We only know about sparks from children's stories. They've said they kidnap naughty children. And shrinklet sightings are exceptionally rare, only occurring in their remotest tunnels in the following pages. We've attempted to piece together some facts about them. Did you know, based on the information we've gathered about teams of water surveyors who sometimes encounter these creatures on their maintenance rounds, and who are very grateful to, being near Sparks makes you feel weightless. They, so be sure to behave yourselves, kids. Let's hope that the drop in activity in recent cycles will give Shrinklets, Sparks, Brellas, peace, quiet, and space they need to thrive. Okay. I'm glad I found that. I'm surprised I walked past the first time without noticing. It scares me that maybe I walked past other things. So it looks like we can't go any further unless we fall off, which doesn't seem to go no place of interest. Let's head back this way. Head through here. That looks like it's going to be something fun. Um, Alright, so that's basically where we were. We got a ladder here with an up arrow. I find it hard to believe that I can't climb on that. There we go. What was the point of that? Oh, move on a ledge. Oh, I see. Ah, I didn't see that before. Okay. Log book. Twelve octaves in one prime after death to the Jozont. Usually, just letting. Yeah, let me start over on that one, guys. Usually, just getting to low tide from my old lighthouse is an expedition for me. It's hard to believe that this time, the adventure was just getting started. At the meeting point, I find myself waiting with Metty, a young woman from these parts. Well, young. Younger than me, anyway. Her parents have already left, but like other people our age, she wanted to stay. That made ripples with older generations. Leaving the family nest is no easy thing. I don't know Metty well, but we already have something in common. The widening gap between us and our parents. She seemed relieved to see me. For once, I was lost for words, smiling awkwardly. And still red from the exertion of getting there, with my pack all undone and my hair sticking up every which way. Probably. Nice one, Bianca. Not socially awkward at all. But I was just relieved as she was 
too, know that I would be settling sail alone. To think, to my surprise, old soul joined us too. I don't know we'd exchange a single word before now. Will an old schooler like him be able to keep up? So Bianca, we've we've seen this name before, Bianca. Okay. So Bianca meets Metti, and Metti, I mean, and Bianca knows another person named Sol. Ever since I was so little, Sol's always been old hermit who lives up on high. He used to scare me. He would come down to the port sometimes like a spider sliding down a silk thread. The other kids and I would have been running away, screaming at the sight of him. Even now, my knees started quaking as I saw him lumbering towards me. We set off as a group of three. Since no one else came to join our crew, I soon realized I'd be worrying for nothing. Soul leads the way. An odd figure with nimble feet who climbs the cliffs with amazing ease. Metsy follows behind, brimming with energy. Suddenly, I feel like the old one. Bianca. Okay. So yeah, we've seen that name Bianca before. Oh wow, this is going further and further up. My question is, do we keep going further and further up? Yeah, alright, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a quick... I'm taking a quick detour here, guys. Um... I'm taking a quick detour here. Oh, look, it doesn't let you jump off the edge. Ah, interesting. Yeah, very interesting here. Oh. Oh, wow. It went away... That was very interesting. Yeah, wasn't there something this way too? Okay, yeah, there is. Whoa. Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, look, it is. It's like, uh, hmm. Well, that was crazy. Turn the altar. Maybe it was more than that. Alright, cool. So, I still kind of want to go all the way this way. Because I... For some reason thought maybe... Going that way. Watch us go all the way this way for nothing. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Went all the way this way for nothing. Yeah, I guess I wasn't thinking. Alright, that makes more sense. We'll just catch right back up to where we were. Not a big deal. Well, that's good to know that you just can't, like, fall off the edge. The game mechanic will let you do that if you're strapped in. Oh, I'm glad we came here. Another stone.
What an amazing game. What an amazing game. Take a nice screenshot there. All right, here we go. What a cool elevator. No way. <laughs> well, before I do that... Is there a way to interact with that before I do anything? I guess not. Alright, I guess we're just jumping. Yep, there we go. I do want to see if I can get up there. Oops, wrong button. Oh. Yeah, it's probably for nothing. It's probably for nothing. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? Whoa, what is that? Is that like a snail? that way and then there's not really this way yep all right I guess we'll go this way the camera's going crazy Oh, there's one like right, right here. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to descend in this room. Descend? Is that the right word? Ascend or descend? Oh, oh, something on the wall over here. Guess I'm done with that room.
Oh, that's cool. I grabbed onto it when it was growing. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Some more climbing rope right there. That's a pretty crazy shot. something here. Uh, straps you in anyway. It auto strapped me in that thing. got here another shelf I don't remember how I even got up here. I literally forgot how I got up here. Wait, what? 
tired am I? I totally forgot how I got up here. Whoa, look at that thing. I did not like when I did that, that's for sure. Pardon me, but I noticed... <coughs> Start over. <coughs> Pardon me, but I've noticed I've stopped receiving my newspaper. Is there anything I should do? Could this be an oversight on your part? While I'm at it, sh I should mention that I really enjoyed your article on the Choco Show. Soul Kiki. Greetings! As you know, there isn't enough water left for the postal relays to function, and too few pebbles available to deliver the paper in good conditions. Because of this, the voice of the ravines team has decided to cease publication. Although our desire to inform our readers is stronger than ever, we haven't yet decided what form our daily paper will take in light of the new situation. Thanks for your feedback on the show. I've always enjoyed covering that event. Let's hope we get an opportunity to discuss it again one day. When there's no water, everything seems so fragile, doesn't it? Okay. So that was a letter to Saul, who we know is a male. jump again I'm actually really concerned why I don't remember where we came from to begin with I guess it doesn't really matter at this point oops do want to get into that ledge that seems very interesting Curious if I've been here before, have we? get lost. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do is get lost. Where are we? Is this the path that we're supposed to be taking? This might actually be the path we're supposed to be taking. Maybe it was just a cool side quest. Alright, cool side quest complete. <laughs> I don't really see anything else over there.
might get hurt. No, I'm not. Am not confused. We continue. I forgot to press the that button there. Another one of these little huts. Pretty. I've never seen so many people coming down from the heights. And some are stopping in low tide. Maybe my situation is not so hopeless after all. The ocean provides for patient hearts, as my mother used to say. Maybe I'll finally manage to meet someone. It's slim pickings here. Apart from the old yawn, maybe he makes my heart flip with his dimples. Call used, oh, calloused hands that, <laughs> calloused hands that played in that plaid shirt he always wears. Yom, the baker? I hope you're joking. I can never tell when you're pulling my leg. Anyway, I'm leaving for the tower too. Sorry, Bossa. I don't know how else to tell you. I wish I could clip our carabiners together like we used to before running around the old pier. I wish I could convince you to come with me, but that's how it is. I'm crewing up at the neighboring village. They found me a spot on one of their pebbles. We'll see each other again somewhere down the plain, won't we? Don't be angry with me. I miss your letters. Okay. fell off there. Random door in the wall. So are we supposed to go that way? We are supposed to go that way. Some more stones.
definitely gives me another color. Whoa, what's over here? So yeah, there's also these things. They're part of, uh, I guess, the achievements thing on Xbox. They're just putting little stones on another stone, basically. Must have done that one already. No, there's no way I could have done that one. Already. That's worth checking out over here. This game sometimes has, uh, I think it's too far for us to go. Sometimes it has, uh, cool little things. Alright, here we go. Fun. Like a big old jump here. Oh. oh, wow, we got it. Let's check out over here first. Sometimes the camera in this game gets a little wonky. Stamina drops more quickly when the sun is out. Uh-oh. That must mean what the red is. Alright, here we go. We got a vine here. Roots will wilt and the sun will disappear after a certain amount of- Oh no! That means we need to hurry- Oh, you know what? Maybe we should wait. Interesting. Okay, so we need to be quick on this. So that's gonna go there. Alright, so we're going up to that platform. So we need to start paying attention where our routes are going at this point. Just looking down again to see if there's any secret rooms that could possibly be there. Alright, let's go. Speed climb as fast as we can here. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, put a belay there. Or a pile. What do they call it? A pylon? Oh! We're almost there. Alright. 
over here. Look, there's a hook over there. try to do? Hold on, I can try to do this. <laughs> oh. oh, it won't let me jump off like that? Look, there's stone right there. Alright, we gotta figure out how to get this. Hold on. Uh oh, can I get back up? <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, how do we get on that? Oh, look, there's a vine up there. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to climb it down to that? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to... Alright, let's keep that on mind. Maybe we're, again, maybe we're just overworking on this game. So this button tells us where to go. So let me check over here first. Oh, we found something. Log book, 12 octaves in 12 seconds just after the Jusan. We did it. I'm completely wrung out, but we made it in time to join the expedition. There weren't many of us there, but barely a handful. Look how peaky the poor thing is. She's shaken like a sewing machine. I felt so far from home, but the tone was more encouraging than mocking. My efforts had been acknowledged and appreciated. I was too out of breath to reply, but a new emotion rose up inside me. I was proud. Proud to have made it this far. Still doubled over from the exertion, I looked around at the others. Everyone there had left everything behind to be there. They had a fire in their eyes and a desire to change things, and I was part of that. That's all it took to fill me with fresh energy. Arlo and Becca welcomed us to their sun-scorched farm with open arms. They were emotional and mood was solemn. They are the last farmers left in these parts, and they are the ones who put together this expedition. They've spent their entire lives trying and failing to fight the drought. Nothing grows on the cliffs anymore. In their own funny sounding words, not one measly plant grows in these here fields no more. I hope I'm not reproducing the high field dialect too badly. Then Becca told us about their wild sheen, setting off for the clouds to find water in the sky. At her words, a murmur rose up from the group. There was talk of how feasible the plan was, how best to go about it, which the routes to take, which sections to avoid. Arlo and Becca want to find the ballast, and they're called lower down, enormous creatures made of water that are said to live in the clouds. Ballast only exists in sleep stories for children. 
Well, that's what I always thought before embarking on this adventure. There, Arlo and Becca last hope, and I'm starting to believe in them too. We may have a chance to, to save the tower. It's up to us to seize it. Bianca. Okay, so Bianca is the person writing these logbooks. That's right. And she is now on an expedition. We are not Bianca, by the way. We are reading a lot of logs written by someone named Bianca. Also, assuming that it's mostly part of the main story of the game because it's its own uh, tab in that earlier section that we saw of the game. I wish I was able to interact with the environment, like play with the, the wind chime right there. Alright, see if there's anything else over here. Look at that little creature running around. Oh, he's gone. Oh, something else over here. Okay, it's another one of those like scroll letters. Is moving really the solution? It makes no sense to be leaving the tower. Like the drought's going to fix itself while we're gone. Leaving our parents' fields to empty the crowd round water and hole right in the middle of the Great Plain? What then? When your oasis dries up, where will you go then? I don't think this is how we're going to solve the problem. There are other options, if you ask me. What do they say about the ballasts? They're carved into the walls wherever you look. Gab's even seen some in the old paintings. There's talk of them there, that's for sure. Plenty of folk even say the ballasts are the ones who stole our water. We should make up... We should make sure of that, shouldn't we? We should go up to them clouds to find out. It might be a solution up in those parts. Might not be. But there sure ain't none down on your plane. That's all I'm saying. Come on, Arlo. You can't be serious. Cloud? Giant? Really? Those are nothing but a bunch of tall tales. Common sense tells us to go with the flow. And the flow is going downward. We've been assigned a spring. Yes, it's in the middle of the plane, but it's our last hope. Our future. It would be nice if... if you there, folk, could see that. Okay, so I guess we're actually... Those letters... Those other letters we've been reading... Are Arlo... Talking to who? I'm confused. So Arlo's talking to somebody else. That's not clear. Unless we go back to those other letters. We can go to these other letters here. Alright, so someone named Yiki. Yiki and Arlo. Wow, we have so many names in this game. So many names in this game. So again, yeah, I started writing all of them down. Let's go through this character list here. D, Sol, uh, Maida, Inio, Rem, Emi, Basa, Meti, Yik. And then Arlo. And then Becca. So let me add Becca there as well. And there's... I should probably also start uh, writing down places like Upside Down Cliff. Just, just for the sake of... Oh, uh, there's another name right there. Mo. And it's possible that some of them... Some of these names are... are uh, like nicknames or something, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that probably in a game like this. All right, I'm just gonna go through one more just to see if I see it. And again, a name that I haven't seen before, but it looks like I think I think we've probably caught up on all the names. All right, cool. Alright, so we looks I guess we've explored most of this area as needed. Just 
Just for kicks, I'm gonna do that. Upstairs. I wonder if that's. I wonder if it's even worth continuingly to try to get up there. I don't think it is. All right, let's go ahead and move on by going. Wait, how did we get over here again? Oh. That's right. I remember now. Uh oh. Stop. Oh, he won't do this little screaming thing? It's okay, I should be able to get down from here. things in there. What was I doing? Slacking. worth it, right? That one's just there for good looks. Oh. Ooh, what is it doing? Where's it going? Question is, do we go back? No, that's where we came from. Faster, 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 faster. Line jump over. There you go. Challenging climate. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. There's a big old tie-in over there. It looks like. Safety first. <laughs> Yeah, where am I supposed to go? Okay, these things, like, uh, it's like, uh, throw. I guess I'm going down there.
Oh, okay. That's where we're supposed to go. Let's do a little exploring down here real quick. Alright. Find that a little weird. There's nothing over here to touch. Something's not adding up to me. Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering why. anything. Oh, there's something. Closed. Permanently. Or until the sun decides to start moving again. <laughs> okay. So is this the bottom of the bottom that we're able to get down to? Take that as a yes. And again, I, that's the only thing I saw. Whoop, whoop. Not mean to do that. Alright, so we can go up that way. Which I think we were up here. Yes. Or we can go up the stairs. I saw the blue paint, so I figured, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like we should find something else. Permanently closed, huh? What am I not seeing? Alright. confused. But you know what? Games like this be like that sometimes. That's fine. something that I didn't see before, but my eyes are playing tricks on me. Alright, let's see where we go.
All right, let's see here. Sorry, I turned something off there. Secret, secret here. Oh. Look at this, fam. Okay, okay. I was like, how is that guy climbing on the wall? Down here. What is this? Ooh, it's a shell. So those are called sound shells. You might see mentionings of them again. They've mentioned them a couple times in the, in the letters. So it looks like I guess this is where kids used to hang out. Little, little kids, like a playroom I guess. Now we decide if we're gonna go this way. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, I am pressing all the wrong buttons here. That is the reason why we are going this way. Again, this game doesn't uh, really want you to do two things too hard. Oh. Okay. Certainly cute.
Yeah. Uh, wow, that was luck. That was complete luck. Interesting, interesting. Oh, what's over here? Logbook, 12 octaves in one fifth, just after the Jusant. There are so many people climbing down from the heights. I feel like a fish swimming upstream, like in the stories, just before the, the Jusant. We rose and felt the tides. I remember hearing the old schooners describe enormous waves, ones that drove people upward with each high tide. They had never seen the ocean themselves. They were just repeating what they've heard from the elders when they themselves were young. But there must have been a grain of truth to those stories, right? The ocean nourished the cliffs, and in return, the cliffs nourished the entire tower. Anyway, the inhabitants of the low tide set enough store in them to set off the search of the ocean. I wavered too. Should we try to hook the lost water? In a way, yes, but not going with the flow. I have the answer now, thanks to Arlo and Becca. We need to go back to the source. We shared our shady spout with a man named Zoe. He was on his way down to the plane and try to convince us to go with him. Why stay? He didn't understand why we, would, we wouldn't go. You won't get nothing out of these fields no more. The earth ain't worth a blessed thing. He grabbed a fistful of dust and held, up, held uh, it up as proof. This guy's name is Zoe. Write that one down. So he continued on his way while prolonged our break, dreading having to go back into the blazing sun. I refuse to believe him. Ever since we set off, I feel like I'm rediscovering the tower, like I've never truly looked at it or listened to it before. My perspective's changing the higher up we go. I'm sure we're on the right track, Bianca. I wish I had a more feminine, feminine voice during those reads. Backtrack real quick because I think that's the way we're supposed to go. And yeah, making sure. All right, that's the way we're supposed to go. But I want to make sure I'm not missing anything else to be missed. Like, why would that want to go back that way? Was there something over there we missed? See if there's something maybe we missed over here. No. It stops right there. It stops right there and does nothing. Yeah, that is. That's very weird. Alright. I do the things so you don't have to, you know? <laughs> Alright. This way we go. Fall. 
this the way we're supposed to be going? Perfect. I'm looking down to the left. I don't think we were over there. Supposed to go down there though. Oh look. Aha. Uh -huh. Again, it feels like I'm finessing the game. proper way to do what we're trying to do. Yeah, what would that proper way be? And why? Why can't I just... Like, there's a ladder there? Is there... Alright. What reason would be there to be go down there? these things down here. See, it's like, if I can do that here, why... Oh wait, we were... I think, yeah, you know what, maybe that's just for aesthetics. <laughs> Again, I think maybe we're just playing too much, wasting too much time. For no reason. Because I don't see a way to get there unless I just Alright, I'm gonna move on. Alright, let's see here. Grab on these and write it. Whee! I am so I'm actually really lost to where I Sada, what's new? Any work for us? Orders are drying up, and business at the rope works is too far for my slow, slow for my liking. <laughs> it's far too slow for my liking. Like, okay. I'm starting to get bored. I've brushed up on all my knots, and I've done accounting. I've been putting off recycles and all dusted off the machines, but now we're stuck twiddling our thumbs. We're not very good at doing nothing. Glad to know there's still someone left on these towers. Sod, I went with the flow. 
just like everyone else, and I don't see what they're expecting to find in the desert. It's not like the sun's going to budge any more than it does here. No need for new ropes, but you're welcome to come by whenever you'd like. You'll soon get used to doing nothing. You'll see. It suits us anyway. We have more time for each other. Cass. So there's some more names. Cass, Sada, and uh, there is another name there. And Ulf. Was it Sada? Yeah. A lot of names. <laughs> A lot of names in this game. Oh, I've got another little bullet. In. Oh, wait, is this it? To the person who left a caramel bun in the canteen, I ate it. Sorry. Not sorry. There's no one around anymore. Anyway, Cass. <laughs> I am... We are... Uh, hold on. Hold on. I think we... Hold on. Okay, so it was actually good that we did that. Wow. Okay, so that was actually really good that we did that. Try this again here. Alright, that works. I'm supposed to grab on those, right? What? Alright, here we go. Alright, so let's not go down there. Alright, we do, we, we gotta go over there. Wait, hold on. What's on this side? Oh, that's not a ladder. It's a propeller. <laughs> Alright, this is as far as down as we can go. Right, 
bring one of these things all the way over. <laughs> Actually, I don't know where we're going. Going that way. I guess I get tired after a while. <laughs> All right, I see where we're going. We're going to that vine up there. This is a this is a pretty difficult one here. All right, what am I gonna do? Good news is the things are still there. Oh. Oh. All right. I should have jumped on that. Start that over there real quick here. Well, let me. Ah, too short. Oh, nope, nope, don't do that. Oh, wait a minute.
purpose would have been. But, but I got it. I got down here. Yeah, look, there's a thing there to climb. Isn't that weird? Still nothing. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh. I'm gonna be able to get back over. That's so funny. That is so weird. I wonder why they made that. To really trip people out, that's why. Alright. Let's try this again here. good slingshot there. Alright, let's uh, take this in here now. Took us all a good five minutes to get back, but that's okay. We got these rock monsters. Oh, we gotta just get up. You know what? Hold on. Idea. Boom. basically just try to get into the pack, I don't know how like that is, that was a good shot, but I was too slow. We're home free. Just for good measure, I'll put a python down. Alright. Sweet. Stop 25 pebbles on a single echo. Oh, okay. So yeah, that was intended to do that.
Yeah, wait, what was the point of this again? <laughs> what was the point of climbing all the way over here? Someone remind me? Someone remind me why I did this again? This is definitely not where the objective is. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've been over here. My question is, can I grab that? Uh. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, what's the point of this? Oh, oh, is it to grab that? Python thing. What? I'm so confused, everybody. <clears throat> Alright, what am I missing here? Oh, whee! Alright, I think I see it now. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, like now what? Oh. Oh. oh, great. Oh no. I think I really did mess up here. Oh no. What I do? What I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I really tangled myself on this propeller. Oh no, I think I'm uh, I think I really done it. Oh, wait, hold on real quick. Oh, bad idea. Ideas to get on this thing over here. Oh, that was close. Yeah, this is a little confusing here then. Don't I just do this? Let's try this again. Yes. This 
this isn't even the main objective. I'm not even sure what I'm trying to, trying to get at. Oh, wow. No way. I can't believe I just made that. I'm gonna try this one, this one last time here. Alright, here we go. We're back at this spot. What are we supposed to do here? Since it's facing, like, this direction, it makes me think that you get to the propeller, and we got to the propeller. Yeah, see, even the camera kind of points that direction. Oh, wait. Oh, I see it now. Okay, okay, we got this. This is just weird. That's all. Okay, I see here. So I think we gotta get like over the propeller. Oh, oh! Okay, hold on. Everybody, okay, we figured that out. But for why? Can someone explain to me again why? Famous words, Beavis and Bud. Uh, well, what do we do now? Oh, okay, okay. Good call. So, we 
climbed up there. Interesting. It's interesting because... It's interesting because I'm really lost right now. Worth it. Alright, no, another little stone thing. Cool. Anything else that we can do up here? got something else here listen to your heart and follow your instincts that's all I can tell you go if you must I won't be going with you my roots are here I'm an old man all I want to stay on my land in peace with the with the world around me farewell I wish you all the best I'll go to the old tree for as long as I can and I'll cherish your memory as my most prized possession I'll be sad, but knowing you're out there somewhere will comfort me. A tiny plant growing in the desert. Oh, Grandpa, I'm going to be sad too. I already am. Mama says I'll come back when the sun wills it. Won't be. <laughs> when the sun wills it, but I won't believe it. The sun doesn't will it. Because if it did, we wouldn't be suffering everything in the house for, into flower sacks. I heard the water in the desert steams is stinky. That's what Tommy says. She's already been there to make sure there is room for her animals, and she's going back with us. Unki says if there says if you change your mind, you know where to find us. He doesn't want to write you. He says you made Mama mad, and that I shouldn't be writing this. I love you, and I don't want to go. But I'm going, so bye, Grandpa. As. Alright, that's a little sad.
I still haven't found another one of those, like, things in a while. Also feel like we've missed a lot, but I'm gonna just continue. Let's see what's up here. Super well. Oh wow, I'm glad we came down here. Called, but uh, there you go. Uh, guess we got ways to go. Let's try to climb it. There we go. Cool. Wouldn't have ever known that, for sure. Um, so does that mean we go back that way, or does that mean we go that way? Further of the tower we go, everybody. Wait, is this where we went earlier? Oh my goodness. Do we really have to climb all these things? Oh, this is gonna be fun. cave-looking thing that way. <clears throat> oh, I'm actually, like, on a moving rock right now.
breather down here. See if this opens up. It does open up. And it's in a shaded area. I wonder why. I wonder why that's opening up down there. It's not like we can do anything about that. And there is not cave here. Oh, wait, it's right above me. What am I talking about? to go up that way. Here they come. Oops. So is this a ledge? It is. something up here. That was uh, another sound show. Progress going on.
this is a, I was about to say, is this a double jump? But it's not. Oh. right up here. That was right. Log book here. Octave 12. 12 octaves and two thirds after the Jason. Warning, this journal entry will definitely be too long, but I have so much to say. Wow, they weren't joking that. That's a pretty long journal entry. Ready, guys? I got to see Emmy again. I am so glad I got to see drop anchor at her hut. We made up for the lost time in the blink of an eye. I almost capsized when I heard her laugh again. I'd missed that so much. She stated she started to grump. She started by grumbling about something before shrugging and changing the subject just like old times. I found myself chattering endlessly. The words flooded out of me. I told her everything from my parents getting ready to pack up and go to our theories about water in the clouds. Everything got all jumbled up and I could tell my chatter made no sense but she nodded as though she'd never heard anything more profound. <clears throat> it was about then that I realized the whole team was gawking at us with round fish eyes. Oops, how long have that been standing there talking to Emmy right in front of them? I hadn't even set my pack down yet. It was so awkward. Emmy gave a frown and barked orders at the assembled group. There was a hard tack to prepare for everyone at the hut and the mattress to air out. Plus, the salt in the wind had the blow been blown to the corners. Everyone sprang up and got to work without another word. Emmy's one tough cookie, that's for sure. Plus, she was armed with a wooden spoon that she was brandishing wildly. A pot was soon set to heat in the sun while the soul swept the floor and Arlo scraped the plates. Em gave a wink and I laughed harder than I had in ages. Later on, our stomachs full and feet bandaged, Em told us stories she had heard from travelers who stopped by her hut. One of them grabbed my attention, the legend of the Piper, a musician of old. He was said to travel from a region to region with his flute to make it rain. I had never heard such heard tell of back home, but Arlo and Becca had. Where were they? Where are they from? They said he'd celebrate rain's arrival rather than making it rain. When it comes to water, dance the piper. I'm writing to keep my hands occupied, but I can't settle down as though staying busy will delay our departure. I've already rewound all my rope and checked over my pack. I brought way too many things aboard. And in this heat, besides, maybe I don't need these three teapots or my favorite flower pots after all. I could just leave them behind, but I know I can't go on like this. I'm entrusting them to you, M. I hope they bring you as much comfort as they've brought me. I hope to see you again one day. I'm your crewmate, always Bianca. Alright, so there we get a little bit of detail there. Bianca and M were crewmates at one time. M had decided that she was gonna stay back and uh, live a life over here.
try one more time here. Okay. I don't think it's worth anything. I think it broke the game. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, that way. Oh, wow, that's far. So, yeah, so far, chapter three is much longer than other chapters so far. bother planting anything. What's the use? It breaks my heart to see the crops dying on the vine one by one and being powerless to stop it. I fought the sun long enough. I'd rather quit now than break my back for nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do. Leave the farm, probably. Finally pay you a visit, maybe. Is the little one already climbing? To think that I still haven't met her yet. Maybe throwing it in the towel isn't such a bad thing after all. Oh no, I'm sorry. What an awful situation you're in. But yes, come for a visit. We'll gladly make room. The little one just started preschool. Can you believe it? She's growing so fast. She's incredible. You'll see. With each passing sleep, she learns something new. When I'm with her, I feel like I'm rediscovering the world around me. She gives me hope again. I should warn you, though, she can be a handful. Up here. Oh, 
We know each other. Our parents know each other. I see you suffering. We're doing our best to divide the little water we have left between us. The largest farms have been given priority. They use most of the water since they feed most of the people. I agree with what you say about needing to change the way we do things. We can't go on like this. It's not sustainable for you. You don't stand a chance compared to the big guys. We should convince them to share, pool our resources. Do you think that's possible? I'm not sending you water, but I'm sending you courage. Joe. Well, thank you, Joe. Hey Ons, have you seen the latest posters? The ones that say to eat more salt to quench your thirst? Together let's save the water, salt your food. <laughs> water saved today is drunk tomorrow. It made me think of you. They're talking it, they're taking it too far. We're supposed to drink less while they use up all the water in the Great Basin to water those sun scorched fields of theirs. Yeah, I saw every little bit counts. Honestly, they've got no shame. It's always the same with them, but it's sure working out for the store. I've never seen so many customers, even though the villagers or the villages are already abandoned. I'm running low on pickleweed. Hearth salt and rock salt. I'm even out of plain flakes, though they're pretty bland and not what I'd recommend. At this rate, I'm going to have to start selling my personal stash. So I'm positive I probably missed another collectible or two back that, that way. But I am dying to get the chapter four. Oh, here's, here's another, uh, speaking of, speaking of, here's one right here. Do that? No, wait, wait a minute. What am I doing? Am I getting up there? I am getting up there.
Yeah, wait a minute. I believe I just made that most improvised. You want left to go right. Well, we're leaving a tower. The village has been a given date. I can't quite believe it. I still think about our dance. The last festival already seemed so long ago. It was nice to forget about all this all this for sleep. I didn't realize it at the time, but I think at some point I'd given up. But then, your laughter, the dizziness after a long wait, waltz. The way you stepped on my feet, the way your cheeks glow pink. I don't know how to ask you this, but... Want to come with me? Journey through life the same pebble? I'm sorry. I know it's short notice, but now I care enough to be afraid. Afraid of what I could miss out on if I don't send you this message. I hope you get it, Keely. So lost right now, I'm just literally running around. Whoa, oh, here we go, we found one. Here we go. That looks scary. Is 
this somewhere we've been before? This must be way out of the way. This has got to be way out of the way. something. 12 octaves, 3 fourths, just after the Jason. We make quite the odd team. Eccentrics, hardliners, optimists, turn with the tides. I've never seen such a different kinds of people working towards a common goal. Well, sort of. I'm not sure I'm on the same page as the others anymore. I've realized that the people around me have nets, harpoons, knives. They want to capture the ballast. I was sure we'd set off on this adventure to prove they're real. That we were going to study them, figure out how they were linked to the rain's disappearance, solve the mystery of the Piper. Now I hope the creatures only exist in stories because this expedition is starting to look like a hunting party. I feel so stupid if we're not seeing it before, Bianca. goes even further down. I wonder if this is the area that I missed. Like I was saying, I had a, I had a feeling that I probably missed an area. Oh, I can't go further. Uh oh, I'm breaking the rope, everybody. Oh, okay, so that got me back here. To the secret door. Oh, look, we got... did find some something else here. Go us for exploring. I have no idea how to get back out. You know what? Raising pebbles was fun. Till I started doing it for a living. I think I've lost my way. You know me, I wasn't really thinking ahead when I took over the old farm. I couldn't just abandon the pebbles my parents cared for all their lives. Sure, I never dreamed of delivering the mail, but it kept the animals fed and my debts paid. I kept nogging above water. Like they say around your parts, but since the villages have been uprooted, it's been so hard. Too few people on the cliffs and too much distance to cover. I'm wearing myself and my animals out. I'm getting nothing but crumbs. I can't go on like this. I remember that when we first met, that seems so long ago now. I'd run away from the farm, remember how mad my dad was. That was quite something. 
but I couldn't deal with the sun anymore. Now look where I've ended up. I miss our belly laughs. I miss, even miss the tunnels. Tommy, thanks for your letter. Things aren't any better here. I've made zero progress on my mending. I spent ages working on this hideous piece of embroidery because I'd rather watch the rocks road. Were you able to sort through your parents' stuff like you wanted? The poor things never got to enjoy them. All they did was work. Is that what will happen to us? We could both decide to opt out. The world keeps on turning. We'll keep on not turning. You get the idea. Take care. It's about that time for me, so I might have to be putting a pin in here for this, for the night. Let's see where I can get from here, going up these stairs. Okay, so this is where I got, like, sidetracked. No worries. Or maybe it wasn't sidetracked. I don't know. I don't know. Did we read this? I thought we read this. Yeah, we read that. Okay, so where do we go from here? <laughs> Alright, cool. Looks like that's the way we're headed. I mean, we're eventually, I assuming, going to get all the way up top. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This looks like it's going to get challenging. I've already forgotten the controls, kind of, sort of, but, uh... They've thrown in these little critter wall challenges. Yep, oh, there they are right there, actually. Speak of the thing. jump. Alright. Should I jump? Let's go for it. Oh, no, no. oh wow, I made it. I know we're gonna keep going further up and up and up. So it's good to hang off the edge of these just to make sure nothing is hiding. Oh, there's a ladder right here. I just had to turn around and look. I kind 
just have to turn around and look. Alright, so we're gonna get up there and... So this is an area that looks like it's, uh... Gonna look for stuff here. Oh, okay, hold on. Again, still not sure where it goes to. Oh, it automatically puts it in there. Oh, okay, okay. So I can either go this way or that way. seeing too far. What? I'm so confused. Alright, you know what? Finally found something. It's one of those scrolls. The other sleep. Rose asked me to tell him bedtime story. He's getting to be a big boy now, but I love it when he, when I can still pretend he's little. I decided to tell him the tale of the long rain. I told him about overflowing canals, high tide, the locks, and so on. But eventually he stopped me because he didn't understand. He didn't know what rain was. I'm starting to doubt myself. We both agree that it's just not some tale our elders made up. It did exist, right? Hey, I think it did. Yeah, but to be honest, I see where your kid's coming from. Water from the sky does sound pretty odd. 
I wouldn't be surprised if the old folks had made it all up and are having a good at us all up there. Things amiss. All right, let's try that vine one more time. See, there's really no way in there. This game's pretty simple. See, we've been up there. It doesn't grow anymore. So confused, everybody. Someone in the chat help me out here. What am I not seeing? Down here, Bob. Right. I've had enough exploration on this side of the wall. I have no idea where that vine goes. Or, like, why it goes that direction. To get up there, you think? I think it's to get up. To get up there. that far? Alright. One last try. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One last try. Let's see if we can swing that far. I'm gonna go with no. Because I'm tethered all the way down. Yeah. I'm gonna go no. I'm tethered too far. Moving on. Usually a scroll in here. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's over here this time. I don't get what the deal is with the parents in the ocean. 
It's all they talk about. We have to go explore the Great Plain. Go further. Cross the oceanic ridges. Find the ocean. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. Set sail for the desert if you want. But why should I have to come along too? You're getting on my nerves. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. I bet I'll get dizzy. Walking horizontally? Nope. No thanks. Not for me. Oh, so that's it, Nil. You're leaving? I wouldn't mind going off the expedition instead of marinating in this old place. It's so boring here. You have no idea. I can't take it anymore. If I have to roast, at least let me roast in the desert where things are happening. Plus, what if you found a sprung? Would you be famous? Oh, so these are like little mailboxes? That's pretty interesting. That way, then that. So yeah, that is uh, still concerning me. Oops. Guess you can't climb on these. All right, moving along. Going to go to what looks like the next best thing here. So I'm gonna go, that's probably the main path, and this one is probably a side adventure. So confused.
Yeah, you know what? I'm almost rather try. I'd rather almost try this out here. Try this again here. There we go. <laughs> All right, where do we go from here? Oh, we just do a jump up here. was a pretty fun climb. Logbook, 12 octaves and 12 sevenths after the Jason. Old stones, paintings, gatherings, and dust. And this wall that used to tell time. Now I'm rendered useless. These ruins are like my old lighthouse. I'm sure of it. They're reassuringly familiar, which is something I really needed. I thought I'd find answers on this climb, but I'm realizing I don't know what questions to ask. I think back to the Bianca I was just a few sleeps ago. So full of certainty. Small fry that was I back then. Now, as I write this, I wonder, why did I set off on this adventure? No answer, of course. The building watches in silence. I guess I'll have to keep climbing out and find what I'm looking for. But the clouds above us are still so small. I feel so far away from everything. Around me, my teammates snore, lost in the rise and fall asleep. I wish I could close my eyes and rest too, but I can't stop my mind from wandering. What's the connection between the piper and the ballast? Arlo and Becca's legends don't say. But I think they're two sides of the same coin. The water and the clouds and the piper's rain. I'm sure if I could just untangle this rigging, I can convince the group to lay down their weapons. Sleep's evading Metic too. She's gazing out into the distance. The great plain seems even bigger from up here. I feel very small and lost like a little shell clinging to the side of the cliff. Bianca. Let's see what else we can find, if anything. Okay, so this is this is where we were. Oh, wait a minute. Interesting. So we weren't close enough to do that? I'm confused. Let's see something here real quick. If this is what I think it is. Pretty sure it is what I think it is. Yep, it's what I thought. Wow. Okay. Well. 
We still had fun climbing. I can only imagine this is near the end of chapter 3. Okay, yeah. So this is going to be like another portal. There we go. over here acting like I just forgot how to play the game. So there's a door over there. And a situation over there. Is there anything below? How far down can I go? Service memo. The old canal is finally clean. 
in locks four to seven have been service. In all my time, the water is severe. I've never seen the water level this low. But at least I was able to give the canal a good clean. Let's just say it was about time. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I've never been this filthy in my entire life. Off the clock for sleep. Until next time, Ida. All the sparks. Jump to be carried by the sparks. Okay, that was cool. Think there's anything on that side? Oops, did not mean to do that. Alright, RT. Um. Still nothing up here, huh? I'm looking to see if there's a scroll here or some kind of collectible. I, I can only imagine a room this size, this many places look around, there would be something, but wow, nothing, huh? Or nothing yet. Oh, stones. Is that the only thing? Whoa. I thought someone got stuck in there.
definitely a very colorful game. Something else will be here. So lost where I'm even supposed to be at. I mean, I know I'm supposed to go up. <laughs> So very lost. Squirrel. Hey, Mama. Sadri asked me to clear out the cellar so that they could store furniture there, and I came across old clothes. It must have belonged to Grandpa. They don't look like anything we wear here, anyway. I had to throw them all out. Some sores had made their nest into them and chewed them all up. I wonder what it was like up there, the storm. Did you ever go back? You said it drove Grandpa completely crazy, but I never had a chance to talk to him about it. No, he never talked about anything much. The old man wasn't the chattiest of folks. The wind picked up. I don't remember how old I was. I could barely stand on my own two feet. That was a long time ago. When a storm like that came along, I wasn't allowed to go outside. I wasn't allowed to do much, come to think of it. Those were different times, eh? Then everything stopped. That part you know. But up here, oh, the raging storm stuck. The wind howled and howled that was enough to drive you mad. We couldn't live up there anymore, you see, so we came down here. And now there's talk of climbing down again. Will it ever end?
Supposed to go over there? Let's see what the game says for object objective is to go that way. Stuck. <gasps> I got stuck, man. So we came in through this tunnel. something here I'm missing something right yeah, that's what it says to do all right what am I missing here Huh. 
Huh. I'm so confused, fam. I think I got stuck up here now. Because I took the carabiner off. Oh my god, I think I'm stuck up here now. I don't have anything to attach the carabiner to. Look, I can't get down! Oh no! They don't want to let me clip on! Oh no, I broke the game. I broke the game. <laughs> now, let me think for a minute. Here, everybody. I am completely stuck. No oh, way. Oh. Okay, that works. all over Can't connect to it. I don't know what's up with that one. Oh wait, what is this?
I guess I better check this room before we continue going up. Oh, there we go. Logbook 13 octaves and one third just after the Jusson. We docked for a while at the home of a local farmer, Gal. To him, always having a wall within reach of a roof of your head is comforting. A feeling of safety, you don't get an open air. He made me laugh. The sky? No thank you. I saw it once and it made me dizzy. Gal seems to be all alone in the world, but he can't bring himself to leave the tower. We don't have to ask twice for him to tell us about the water. He mainly remembers the sound that made when it he was just a tadpole, as he put it, in the silence that followed the drop. He spoke of full canals and the waterfalls and mud of pruny skin, and I was the only one listening. In the light of the glowing mushrooms, people's faces were exhausted but their eyes were bright. The entire group hung on to his every word. Who will listen to his stories once we're gone? We ended up staying at the farm, delaying our departure just a little longer. There was no shortage of excuses. Gal's farm needed an extra hand. There was a building frame, repair, spare parts to track down, ribs replaced. It felt good to be working on something concrete rather than being worrying myself out on interminable climb chasing after legends. Probably the same feeling that keeps carving my little sculptures. When it was time to leave, Betsy stayed behind. There was no need to explain. The group understood. All of us were secretly hoping to stay at Gal's farm. Well, I was, but I guess I'm still holding on out a glimmer of hope for expe this expedition. Saying goodbye to the Metis was probably the hardest thing I've had to do since I started climbing. Started this climb. I don't know if I feel like writing anymore. Or have the energy to. Goodbye. Maybe. Bianca. What's going on there, uh, Giberino? Up in the chat? In the chatterino? Giberino in the chatterino. Oh, we got something else over here. Oh, looks like we got another squirrel. Another squirrel. Another squirrel. Jen, are you still around? How are things out there? Still no rain? I hosted a group from your part of the tower here. Off chasing the clouds or whatever's in them. We had a great time, and I got a new house made out of it too. A youngster who reminds me of you. It'll be nice having two of us run what's left of the farm. Hey old man, great to hear from you, and I'm glad to know you're in good company. Cass and I were actually talking about the odd jobs I used to do. It's been a while now since the harvest, hasn't it? When I think back to it now, it seems crazy how many people would have come to pick up the sparkle shrooms. The sparkle shrooms? Well, mostly because of the pies you'd make from the snack time. You know, you never did give me a recipe. Yeah, tired and, um, meh, G. Barino says up in the chat. I hear you, man. We are winding down for the night. We are, uh, just pushing into an hour of, uh... Chapter 3 or Chapter 4 now? Hopefully I'll hit Chapter 5. But, yeah, rolling on that uh, end of the night for us as well. Hope you had a good weekend though. Was it, it was good or uh, it was so good it was tiring? been happening but you've been happening man you've been happening what happened? there we go oh wait there's another little secret door or something over here Good to hear. You've been on uh, at least just about every day, if I'm not mistaken. 
Kind of notice in the wall here. No more water. We will see about that. I'm sure if you dig deep enough, there's water to be found. No one believes me, but I believe in myself, and that's the main thing. Come on, old boy, we'll prove them wrong. The worst that can happen is that I'll find treasure or a caramel seam. That's the good stuff. Caramel. <laughs> Wait, we didn't see a name on that one. No name on that note. What? They seem what are you talking about? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't died yet, I don't think it can. I could be wrong. Well, that is good to hear. Key Reno. Wait, is that where I'm supposed to go? Alright, that's where I'm supposed to go. No, 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 this way, this way. Time. There you go. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Get back up there. How do I keep it like this? You keep on doing what you're doing. Um, oh. Well, how do I get over there? They just keep doing what you're doing if it's working. No reason not to. Alright. And the story continues. Feel like I've missed a secret room of some sort. It's still been a while since we've seen a hier hieroglyphic. Getting some weird lag too. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not playing in the cloud, so I'm kind of kind of curious why it's a little laggy. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's these rock creature things. I first I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> I'm still not sure where I'm going next. Okay, okay. Now we got a new one right here. Gamer. Wait, where do I go now? All these things. Alright, where are these things gonna take me? Oh, creepy crawly things again. Yo, this game is, uh, fun challengingly. Challengingly fun. I'm not sure of the proper way to say that.
Alright, secret little door. Right? I'm confused, actually. Hold on. I'm so confused. Does that go to the same place? That was the door that was hanging on the wall, right? I'm so confused. Yeah, this game is, uh... Basically, like, these are all corals that are, like, still growing. Unlike... Unlike a real coral. And we're climbing... Basically, like, a really, really tall reef. That's the only way I can really explain it. Now look. This morning, I forgot to pull lechin out of my drink, but drank it anyway. And then cried tears of joys because my toast was so delicious. I'm so wound up, I can't get anything done. I don't know if I should blame the drought, the evacuations that started, or the end of the world. Anyway, I've got mushrooms to grow. <laughs> and he's talking about, uh, these are called mushroom corals, actually. Uh, I, I, get, I know this because I'm trying to grow some myself. I, I got a new aquarium that I'm setting up and uh, I'm going to be growing mushroom corals. And that's what they look like. They look like these flat, like these, these ones with the rings around them. They look like that. Called mushrooms, mushroom coral. Where am I supposed to go? I am so lost right now. Oh, uh, this, this. Okay. Yeah, like this one with the red and orange. Oh, look, it's moving. It's pulsating. That's what they do in real life. And then you have other ones called like these hammerhead ones. Let's see if I can find some. I saw some earlier. But hammerheads are, they kind of have that like ring with them too, but they're like tubes. Oh, oh, here we go. We finally found one, it's been a while. right here in the wall. Those are so cool. Oh, what do we got here? I don't know if I'm ready for that just yet. I think there's something else I want to see over here before I go that way. That looks like something that we don't leave from. Or maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe that is the way we go. Alright, I guess that's the way we go. <laughs> yeah, alright, I guess that's the way we go. Yeah, it was crazy, like, when I started playing this game. I was like, oh man, these look like a lot like coral. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, they get to play this game and that's what they're supposed to be. They're climbing up a very massive, huge... Like, I just imagine if all the water that we know of just, like, gone. And then the ocean is just, like, looks like this. That'd be crazy. Here we go! Whee! For when it's like, right. all right, another stone, stone tower. I'm not sure what they're called. Yeah, the hammerheads actually look kind of like this. See how these got these like weird oval shape. They're almost like that. Like 
like this. Yeah. And apparently, like, the clownfish like them a lot. Okay, what's this? Those are called, uh, sound shells. Look, and then it disappears and crumbles away. Oh, we got another little thing on the wall. Say no to lock. Water and the people should be able to flow freely. We can't deny them any of the sake of the few. In the current crisis, it's our duty to stand in solidarity with things. To confine the water is to confine us all. Regular information sessions at the Market Canteen, the White Water Collective. <laughs> okay. go. Community Canteen, upcoming activities, permanent team to fight the water insecurity, fundraising dinners for the White Water Collective, repair workshop, all items accepted. Note, the canteen will now open one prime earlier to reduce overcrowding. Pay what you can. To help in the kitchen, arrive early in the sleep, all help welcome. Tell the whoever lived here really thought about accessibility. You got stairs and a ramp. No one comes by anymore. I haven't sold a single flower. Should I switch careers? But I don't know how to do anything else besides taking care of plants. I might as well write poetry, right? Or try, at least. Roses are red, violets are blue. Where oh where has everyone gone to? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. Nothing else in the room. All right. Up we go. Thank you. 
There we go. I was like so confused just there for a second. That's what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Burla Gazette, issue number 37. Eight octaves and twelve two fits after the Jusun. Editorial. In this issue of the Gazette, we'll be looking at animal from the outside for once. The weave beak. Weave beaks are the only animals found in every region of the tower, every known region at least. Sometimes they even venture into our tunnels. These medium-sized birds are known for their all-white feathers and blue comb. It's not uncommon to see the playful birds gliding through the warm drafts that rise up from the cliffs of the tower. They're also extremely curious and can be found often perched near the climbing route, observing the commen and commenting on what's happening with their fellow birds. Not only are the weave beaks social creatures, they're also skilled builders. They work together to build their nest, which have multiple entrances and can house dozens of weave beaks. They're constantly strengthening and expanding their nests and are always on the lookout for twigs. Hence the expression, working like a weave beak. Did you know weave beaks combs open and close depending on their mood? A wide open comb means the weave beak is alert or stressed out or something or someone. But enough chatter, keep waiting for an in-depth look at the lives of these outwardly assumingly yet fascinating birds. Dear Editor, I've only read the edit tutorial and I'm already outraged. Um, it all sounds very nice, but you might want to rethink twice before publishing such nonsense. Weave beaks are thieves. They're always stealing my wood in their nests. I'm unsubscribing. Signed, a disgruntled citizen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh oh. Did I do it again? Can I not get reattached to that thing? Alright, so where are we going from here? Looks like we go this way. Oh. Alright, I guess that's our destination there. Yep. I'm gonna say that's probably our destination. Geronimo! Climb there. That just goes over here. And then I guess we're going that way. Yeah, alright, that makes sense. Let's keep this journey going.
Come now, dear friend, enough moping around. The situation isn't as hopeless as that. I'm quite certain the water supply is being managed by some very competent people. I have no doubt that they have a clever plan to get us out of this mess. Believe me, there's no cause of concern. Are you still coming over for tea? We fill the basin, nothing like a bit of swimming and to chase away the blues. Oh, that was a short, short letter. Gotta rest our arm there, it's been a while. That's back. Get some new rope. Oh, I see, I see, I see you guys. Stop moving because it's tired. The rock is tired. Is this the right way to go? Is this right? Yes, this is right. Wow. a ledge. There we go. Creepy! Creepy ledge. <laughs> Almost didn't see this over here. down here. Oh, it's one of these things.
Hold on for the ride. Hee hee! our hands there real quick there buddy again. There we go. So it split on us is what happened. Jellyfish or airfish or something.
way too far over. from here but where do we go uh, I really don't know where we go from here somewhere. Sorry, Ida. I have to go to the market. Their water inlet is acting up again. Things are starting to get complicated. I really thought by holding back the water, but there's nothing to be done. The basins are empty. I think it's time for a more radical change. What would have happened if we let the water flow freely from the start? I'm boring you with my musings, but sometimes I get the feeling we've made a big mistake. There's a pier collapsing, the boatman's district. Do you think you can take care of that? Hey, Joe. Things are non-stop at the moment. I'll have to go fishing for a new team to shore it up. Isa's already over the top of the two-pillar site. As for the other stuff, I don't know what to say. What's done is done. Alright, I'll pick up the supplies I need. And then I'm off to the boatman district. Alright, here we go. Alright, so what's on this side real quick here? Nothing. Oh wait, there is. Something right here. Hey, big guy. I hope you're doing well. You know, I still don't like the thought of you perched up at the basin. It's too big. We just aren't made for the open air. You'd be better off in our tunnels where it's cozier. You might have already heard, but Anne's barge is finally back in dry land. They can't drive it anymore, they say. But you should see them now. They've never been so busy. They're working at a SAR rescue center or such thing, if you believe it. Who'd want to save the sores anyway? Seriously. They always look so disgruntled. They're in, in like they're ju judging us. But things have been, been easy for on. And they seem happy again. That's what matters. Your father played a song for you. It was beautiful. May the currents be kind to you wherever they are. Oh.
have moving rocks. How far we made it. All the way up here. Wherever we are. <laughs> we are the water survivors. In the dark tunnels, we guide, clean, navigate rivers and streams. So the water called forth in the day and the sky can fill and nourish, cherish all things living. Uh, where to now? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, wait, where am I supposed to go? I'm confused. It does reach over there. Huh. This is where I'm supposed to go? Alright, that's where we're going. Thought I saw something pop up on the screen. the third one tonight I often wonder what would happen if the rain had returned would we still have met or would we have led parallel lives somewhere some yeah led parallel lives elsewhere each of us unaware of others existence as much as seeing the great basin dry up more with each sleep fills me with despair. I can't help but be happy by your side. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we're back in the tunnels. <clears throat> no. hurt my wrist. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie there. And I think this is gonna hit us on chapter
up. learning games that uh, sometimes you can find secrets. Whoa! What did I just do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Is that because it's really windy out here? <gasps> no way. That's cr- Oh, uh-oh. That's not good. like much windier than what just happened what okay all right chapter five is no joke oh i understand now i completely understand The wind is flying upward, so... Oh, look, there. There we go. There's a ladder there. Alright, that makes more sense. The wind is flying upward. And all the coral here looks like it's bleaching out. It's all turning white. Going away. That is what coral looks like when it dies, so when they say the coral is bleaching, they really mean it. Depending on the wind, on the direction, the wind... Wait, what? I, I totally missed what I said there. I think it just basically means jump. <laughs> Gotta make sure we take breaks. That was one of the achievements that I did see. In fact, we can try to do that achievement. Oh, look, the wind is flying sideways now. So I bet if we jump... Alright, anyway. Oh, look, it, it picks up and then... Okay, okay, I think I see it. I think we gotta time it. Yep. Let's give a little rest. Alright, guess I gotta wait for it again. So while I wait, I'm gonna put a pile on. And jump! Yes. Alright, that's a pretty cool little puzzle. That's a cute little puzzle. Jump. Oh wow, we barely made that one. Let's get a little rest again. Wow, a lot of 
moving parts up there. Oh, jeez. We got a lot of climbing to do. We got a lot of climbing to do. on here real quick. <laughs> okay, we're going to be grabbing on this thing. Goodness, our rope just like got out. That's crazy. Whew. That was fun. Let's keep going.
escape. I wish there was a way to see how many of those we've got. This last stream, I feel like we've got like three or four. Oh, is that something else here? Uh, scroll? Logbook number, uh oh, just after the Jusan. Shipwreck. Too tired to cry. I doze off every time we break, exhausted by the exertion. Held up by my harness alone. I wait for the signal to jump in the squalls with the team, but I'm completely disoriented. Ever since Becca fell, we've been roped together. I needed to start writing again so I don't drown in sadness. How long have we been chasing off the clouds? I lost track. Some people think we're crazy. Those of us who weren't before certainly are now, after going round and round in circles during that storm. The wind is howling all around us, and I'm trying not to take it personally. Beyond. Yeah, we got another one. So I guess we are supposed to be journeying, journeying up. Beautiful game. Part of the achievements. Kind of curious. Is there anything off this ledge? There. Another one.
so uh this one looks very lively that, that looks like it could be steam or even water all right let's keep going my question is are we supposed to be going this way no definitely not supposed to be going That's what it's for. Alright, let's grab back on this one and head up the mountain, everybody. Head up the tower, head up the reef. I like calling it a reef. That's much better. Something that way. There's something that way. All right. So the game says the objective is that way. So let's go this way. Let's go this way first. And if it seems like we're going in that direction, then. Probably something over here. Oh, yep. Greetings! I waited for your craftspeople to arrive several sleeps ago, but they never landed. When can I expect you? We're patching things up as best as we can, but the wind is carrying away everything in its path, and the roof won't hold up much longer. The situation is getting urgent. I hope this reply doesn't reach you too late. The relays have been malfunctioning recently. I apologize, but due to the storm, we are no longer able to travel to your altitude. The danger is too great. My only advice is to take shelter. An emergency shelter is being set up here for you heights dwellers. May, may rain fall on you and your loved ones. You have my full support. Rightio. All right. So, I guess that was... Stuff. That was weird. Cool, so there's that. So do I continue up? Because that goes up. Let's go to the this straight area first. 
I don't want to get carried away. Is here. The Jusan continues to carry the ocean away. Last we heard, on the sun side, the temperature keeps on rising. Here, a storm is raging and doesn't seem to be letting up. Everything around us is coming to a standstill. Or maybe we've been at a standstill for too long. We won't be able to nest at the mill much longer. That I know, but we can't leave without putting up a fight. In the meantime, we've entrusted our little old sibling. They're traveling downward with the family, most likely like most of the other height dwellers. All should be safe under the stone. I already miss my little nestling smile. We'll see each other again when the clouds decide. So here's my thought. My thought is one of those, um, yeah, one of these hieroglyphics, the one that we saw last when everyone was walking up, and another one that we saw previously where it was like a, how do you say it, like one of those sand timers? I'm almost wondering if the tower flips upside down every so many years or whatever. And that's how the cycle turns. That's how, like, the cycle of this world happens. I don't know. Like, I don't even know what to make of this picture. What do you make of this picture? See the people up top swimming? I'm not really sure what to make sure this picture, make up this picture, but it's there. Maybe someone else will figure that out. They're just like little room of cool corals.
Becca was right. The water creatures were incredible. Huge. So ballast are real after all. It was their song I'd heard sometimes between the gusts of the wind. We only just caught a glimpse of them. But once we did, nothing else mattered. Everyone went quiet, watching them slowly disappear into the storm. For a long time, no one moved a muscle. Arlo shook his head, staring into space. For a moment, he looked like he'd lost his bearings, same as the rest of us. After astonishment came the feverish preparations, around me, the rope team got moving, sharpening their weapons and scanning the clouds. We needed to capture at least one of those flying water tanks. Even Sol ended up grabbing a harpoon. What other hope do we have of bringing the water back? He sounded almost apologetic. But I'm the one who's sorry. Bianca. What do you think she means by she's the one who's sorry? What do you think, little water creature? What do you think she meant by that? So do we go down or do we go this way. We go down, of course. That looks like the main. Let's go down. I'm hoping we can come back up. Alright, we got another little letter. Every sleep, I try to convince Arlo, Saul, and others to stay. I even threw their harpoons away, at least the ones I could reach, but they were so determined to catch a giant and return with its water, to go back on it the way life was before. But the way life was before is what brought us here. They ventured into the storm to hunt and never returned. I waited them for a long time. Lost at sea, I grieved for them. Who else but me? They may be gone, but I treasure their memory. I still remember. Nice's advice, Sol's laugh, Arlo's furrowed brow. Sometimes my thoughts turn to my parents, M, Gal, and Metti. I wonder where they are and where they're going. If their thoughts drift up here, sometimes they live within me too. At first, I kept track of my harvest. But as time went by, I ended up losing track. To survive, I became an earth scratcher too. What would you make of that, Becca? I'm probably doing it all wrong, but things are growing. Not bad for a girl from low tide. Note to self, I'll have to divide up my garden beds if I want to have enough hard tack for the cycle to come. I don't know when I decided to stay up in the crow's nest. It just happened. I'm happy here. I wish I could talk to the young Bianca who left low tide, who only ever thought of leaving, moving, too impatient for the stationary world. She'd probably find this quite ironic. But this climb, already so long ago now, taught me to live the present moment. It took me a while, but I finally put down roots. With each passing sleep, I understand it more clearly. The tower needs me, needs us all. It needs us to change, and if we have to change our way of being, might as well start here. I never belonged in low tide, a lighthouse keeper in the oceanless world. But since I met the ballast, I feel like I found something I didn't know I'd lost. A fragile link to something bigger than myself. In mutual respect, I'm nothing compared to these water giants who swim through the storm, but they look at me with such interest and curiosity. They watch me when I carve my scraps of wood, when I bring the harvest, when I write. As if to learn or to remember, 
I want to stay here in case someone else is crazy enough to try to find them. They watch over me, and I watch over them in turn. As the ballast draw near, the cliffs wake up. Even I feel like I stand taller and feel lighter and more alert. Younger even. Ha ha ha. These arthritic joints have creaked for a long time now. But you get the idea. I wonder how long the ballast kept me in company of Spartan existence. They eventually left one by one. I know they're out there somewhere. One of them stayed. It comes to see me from time to time like it's watching over me. We watch each other grow older. We go about our business knowing the other's there and that's enough. And it gives me someone to talk to. I'm happy. I'm where I'm meant to be, where I need to be. Bianca. Cool. I'm going to assume that's going to be the last letter we get from her. Alright, we got the last one here. Said we looked at that log book. Get closer. Yeah, I really don't have words. Don't really have any words. Quite the climb here. I 
No, that means it's gonna get harder. the end right there, I think. I could be wrong again, but let's, let's uh, oh, here we go. Let's go. I wish that was more cinematic, but I still like it. like the boss level or something. Wait, I'll be down.
go. Chapter 6. I was not expecting this. Alright, chapter 6. Here we go. It's not letting me jump, so I'm just running down. died in this game. I don't know if you can. I'm not going to take my chances at this point. game had implemented a photo mode. Oh, look. It's like all the constellations that we saw throughout the story of the game, and then all those, uh, all those creatures. What did they call them in the game? I bet it's all water is about to splash down. That, that's just my theory. Really trophy hunt all the time, but I do like to find cool secrets at times. So. Should we climb the front or climb the back? It looks like we can climb the back as well. Oh, look, these are all frozen, um, frozen creatures or whatever. Oh my goodness, this is a graveyard. This is a graveyard of those. Whale creatures. Alright, so what's in here? Oh, he can't really scream. Right, so this is just pure ruins. So I kind of want to climb the back. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't climb. can't even jump. Alright, so if I can't even jump...
heard bones crack, but did not die. game wants us to grab on to a certain one. Yeah, like, why can't I grab onto that one? I guess I noticed that there's some that have gold rings around them, and some that don't. So the one right here, I don't think I can grab onto. But that one way up there, and the one to my right looks like I can. I'm gonna have to reroute. Whee! This is the one that needs to come off, unfortunately.
Making it a little too hard for myself again. Oof, barely got that one. Let's do a resty rest. Ooh, did we go the wrong way? Yep, I'm able to just do that. Doink. And yoink. That saved me a lot of time. Let's rest our arms. Climb back up.
Oh wait, I thought I could grab one of those. Yo, this is tricky. Pretty sure I can grab one of those though, right? Nope. Hey, wait a minute, where am I supposed to go? Go to that one. That was right the first time. Hold on, real quick. I think I see what the problem is. I think I see the problem. I think when we tried this last time, we didn't have enough room. Jump back. Here.
that again. Thought of, oh, this must be frozen and we unfreeze it or something. Little, the little guy, we're gonna have to give this little guy up. I just know it. I just know it. He's gonna be our sacrifice. He's gonna be our sacrifice. There we go, guys. We've been carrying a little one the whole time. That's gotta be like the baby version.
the end. Awesome. Don't nod, city of here. Is that supposed to sound like rain? More static do you like that? Can't tell if that's more static -y or rain sound. Okay.
And I assume we're getting near the end of the credits here. I am definitely still here and uh, was listening to the soundtrack. Going through the credits. Checking out some of these names. I might go back and uh, check some of them out on like LinkedIn and see what other games they've made because uh, especially some of those artists, I really like the art in this game. Uh, the marketing team. And if you ever get to watch these credits or listening this far down, then you really know all the work that goes into these kind of games. Reaching out to these people, thanking them. That literally makes their week. When players reach out to them and tell the developers or anyone involved in the game... Thank you for climbing. I hope that really inspires you guys. Name of the game. Jusson. Chapters. One, Daymark. Two, Migration. Three, Solstice. Four, Convergence. Five, Mirage. And then six. Sigigi? Is that is that a word? Is that a is that a word? Zizigi? Chapter selection also tells you if then if you've done all the objectives. Let's see if I was right. I think chapter uh, three is where we missed a lot of the stuff. Up oh, chapter two, we missed one of the stones. Chapter 3, I was right. We missed two notes, one stone, and two hieroglyphics. Chapter 4, we missed a lot more. Chapter 5, we missed two. And then chapter 6 was just a straight walkthrough. So yes. That is the playthrough here that you'll see on the channel. As mentioned, I'll kind of just go through the ones that we've unlocked here of the gallery. I believe these hieroglyphics were the fairy tales that we heard about through the letters. So through some of the some of the letters, uh, some of the Bianca letters, uh, especially when the first letters for Bianca when she meets Becca and. Soul, those characters, those letters, uh, they talked about the fairy tales then. And there's been other characters throughout the game that also talked about the little fairy tales and legends and hieroglyphs at sometimes. Uh, they've called them something else, but that's what this gallery is. The gallery is us uncovering all those hieroglyphs throughout the story. So I'll read them. They're, they read through as poems. Each morning, the waves carry in the day. For as long as we remember, we dance the dance of the tides. In the night, the stars tell tales. The firelight warms us. We laugh, we dream of stories of days to come and days gone by.
at your sides, I want to stay. With you, adventures never far away. Ready the draws into the fray. Oh, at your sides, I want to stay. Don't send me away, I pray. Then we've missed two from, uh, I think that was chapter three. You're the earth that grounds me, my journey, my family. If you fall, we rise together. Life anew, anew the rain, an army of drops converge into the surging torrents. The rain swells the earth, plunges into the ocean, life anew, anew the rain. Momentum in spring, taming the stone, the water whispers softly, lets out a yawn, calmly it slumbers on. I climb the pebble tower as the tide rises high. I climb the pebble tower as the tide rises high. I climb the tower and ask myself, when will the tide retire? Dive in, swim, become. I am the source the river and the ocean. You are my world, dive in. In the clouds, I lose my way, wandering through the valleys of icy gray. In the clouds, the watery watches me stray. Will I find my love again one day? And that's kind of it. And I say kind of because there's still letters, but all these letters we read through when we came through them in the game. You can see the letters have different symbols. The symbols represent different types of letters found throughout the game, throughout our journey. These diamonds here means the letters that we haven't found. So those were the few that we missed. And then the logs, all the logs that we saw throughout the game were written by Bianca. And the symbols on them represent what octave, as in how high in the tower she, she was. So the first letters, the fish here represents, uh, I believe, like a low tide. And then... You know, she's talking about her family still. And then, uh, you know, she journeys as a similar journey that we took. And uh, that was Bianca. So Bianca had preceded the journey before us, but we are of the land, I guess, and have much more knowledge. So yeah, that was the game. Awesome. Loved it. Thank you guys for watching. Please check us out on the interwebs on social media. 321gaming.com Social media 321gaming.com D-O-T-C-O-M Spelled out. See you guys later.